starring Elena Lowenson, Stefan Ferrara, Bernie Bonvoisin, Michelangelo Marchese, Mark Barb, Hervé Son, Marine saint Cilly, Pierre Nis, Darilia Kelmel, Aline Stevens, Dominique Troyes, and Bamba Forzani Ndaye directed by Helene Cadet and Bruno Forzani premiering here at Fantastic Fest in Austin, Texas, the hyper-stylized Let the Corpses Tan may not be on your radar as of yet. Until, of course, you realize that it's the next film from the directors of the Trial-inspired trip to Chimair, and the strange color of your body's tears. The French directing team of Helene Cadet and Bruno Forzani have taken their filmmaking prowess to the next level with their latest, crafting a crime story inside of an art film. Their style leans toward 70s art house, but, technically, feels very modern and forward-thinking. Cadet and Forzani are trying to push the envelope and move cinema in a new direction, while also keeping one foot in the past. Their work also feels very personal, and the passion these two filmmakers have comes across in their precision. Set in the sunbathed setting of the Mediterranean, an abandoned hamlet looks like the perfect complex to hide out in for a group of thieves with a carload full of gold. The only inhabitant is a woman artist on sabbatical who begins to seduce the new inhabitants, whether she means to or not. What seems like an idyllic situation suddenly sours when two determined cops track down the gang, inciting a feature-length shootout where everyone is expendable. If you've seen a mare or the strange color of your body's tears, imagine what an action film might look like directed by the same team, and you'll start to get an idea of how striking and unique Let the Corpses Tan is. By grounding their style with a simple crime plot, corpses combine style and substance in a way that Cadet and Forzani's previous films either failed to do or just weren't interested in exploring. There's a sensuality here that blurs the lines between sex and violence without exploiting either. In one spectacular sequence for example, a woman's clothes are ripped apart from machine gun bullets until she is completely nude, but no blood is spilled, and the release of death looks orgasmic. It's a riveting series of shots that are only made better by the visual choices that come before and after it. Fetishizing the violence allows for the film itself to transcend the characters in their petty conflict, but that doesn't mean they are only props for the hands that mold them to toy with. Great care is taken by the directing team to balance their visual obsession with plot and character development. The characters don't get lost in the film. We do. Powered by WP Review, get this site 100% ad-free support us on Patreon US Residents Only.